Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho for Mobile Reviews 8.c and today we are going to do a review of the Veil by Cotabee. This is a this is one of the thinnest cases that I've ever seen and it's so thin that I have to ask the question, is it really a case? It fits tightly around your iPhone and really maintains the sleekness of the iPhone. If you need something to keep your iPhone pristine, the Veil is worth getting, but from my perspective, it won't do much to protect your iPhone because, well, of the thinness. The Veil itself is very slick, so that kind of reduces the handling of your iPhone. Now, based on my time with the Veil, I've given it a score of 3.8 A's out of 5. I honestly don't have anything thinner than this case, as even the speaking thin fits isn't as thin. If you'd rather read the rest of this review, check out my website, or if you want to see the other cases that I review, check out that comparison tool. Links are in the eye or in the description section below. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews A. C A. Now, mobile reviews A. C A. We base our reviews on actual usage, so we were always curious when something's as thin, does it, you know, rip? So we did that. Well, one of the neat things about this case is, well, it's not that neat actually. I've had it for six months, and I didn't think anybody would be interested, but I released my uh, in the pipe tool, and you guys all voted up the veil by Cotabi all the way up to the top. So hey, here's the review. In terms of the design, this is one of the thinnest iPhone cases that I've seen. In fact, it's going to be thinner than most tempered glass screen protectors on my iPhone 6. The veil looks thinner than the Fusion self-healing plastic screen protector I have on it. It's that thin. We clocked it in at 0.28 millimeters, which is pretty crazy. The build quality of the case is okay. It does fit the iPhone very, very well, though it's a little tough to install. I recommend going button side first if you're planning on getting this case, as trying to install it elsewise is going to be a little frustrating. I'm not terribly excited about how easily this case scratches, though Cotabi does tout the fact that the matte finish re resists scratches better than glossy cases, which is cr true, but a little scratch by your fingernail is going to leave a permanent mark. Now with the thinness of such case, you must have wondered like I did, does it tear? And we did tear it, where well, we tried to anyways, and I'm not the most weak person in the world, and I couldn't tear this iPhone case apart. The durability was a question that Jared Kratzer on Facebook asked about, and speaking of Facebook, Abraham Garcia on Facebook also was concerned about the protection that the veil was going to provide the iPhone. It will, it will keep dust and debris away from it, but it's not drop rated. In fact, dropping it port side down will result in the case not even coming between the iPhone and the ground. Cotabee has a solution for this issue, and I'll elaborate on it a bit, but it requires you to spend a bit more money. The edges on this case are so low that my screen protector is the only thing that makes contact with the flat surface and the same goes for the camera on the back. It just seems crazy to me that a case won't keep the back of the camera off a flat surface. In terms of accessing your iPhone, no issue at all. The cutouts are large enough that you can easily get to everything on your iPhone. There's nothing covering the bottom so everything's exposed so use whatever size plugs you want. I do have to make note that Cotabee sells an XT version of the Veil which covers the bottom of the iPhone much better though it's $5 more. In terms of screen viewability and screen accessibility, no issues there. My biggest issue with the cod, with the veil is that if you got really dry hands, it's going to be really slick in your hands. And now you might like that. I'm just letting you know I personally don't because it just feels like it's going to fall out of my hands all the time. It does keep the slick sleekness of your iPhone, but again, it's it's kind of scary when it just kind of falls out like that. Usually cases should provide a little bit more uh, grippability, in my opinion, than the actual iPhone. This actually reduces the grippability, which is kind of crazy to me. But hey, it's only 15 bucks, so yeah. That's really all I got for the Veil by Cotabi. Again, I don't know if I would call this a case. It doesn't do much in terms of protection. I usually think that a case should offer a decent amount of shock protection because that's kind of why you get a case, not, well, I guess if you want to keep dust and debris out or if you want to keep the back very pristine, but still, I don't know. Not a big fan of this. 3.8 A's out of 5, not the best, not the worst case possible. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below if this is the first time you watch one of my videos. I do encourage you to click subscribe. We produce content two to three times a week. Um, sometimes more, usually not no less. Find me on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm missing one. There's Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter. Um, somewhere you can find. It. I have a website. You can email me there too if you really, really wanted to. Thanks for watching. And even on my iPhone 6, the veil looks thinner than the Fusion self-healing plas screen protect. Plas? Plas? That's a combination of glastic and plas. A plas screen protector.